What is up everyone? I am Bishop Brawler and you are watching the 15th episode in the Road to 721 series. Today we're returning to LC after being absent from the tier for quite a while and we're playing around with Aron. Now Aron's stats are quite interesting. As you can see he has an incredible base defense stat of 100. That is ridiculous for LC standards. His attack is no slouch either with 70 base, that's quite good. However, his other stats are not the greatest. With 50 base HP, that's pretty average and it just kind of diminishes his ridiculous physical bulk. And then his, his speed is terrible, meaning as an offensive Pokemon he is in trouble as well. And his special defense is also pretty awful, meaning that he can't really be very defensive either because he cannot take any special hit at all. Like, he, can he just can't, pretty much. But he does have some really good abilities. Sturdy is great for defensive stats to utilize with Berry Juice, which is his, one of his two main sets. Sturdy Berry Juice with Stealth Rock and Battle Burst, which and he just provides great utility for the team, being very physically defensive and being able to potentially take out some special attackers with Battle Burst as well. And then you have Rockhead, and that is the ability we are using today, because Arwan has access to Stab, Head Smash which is insanely powerful. With a 150 base power and then no recoil because of Rockhead, this move is amazing. It hits so stupid hard and it pretty much kills anything that doesn't resist it or is really bulky. The item of choice is Eviolite because this Aron wants to set up a Rock Polish. And in order to do that, he needs to be as bulky as possible without sacrificing any Offensive power. That's what the FVA light does. I don't want to give him life for because R1 will get whittled down already very easily already. Every light is the, is the better option because it allows me to set up much easier. Now as I said, Rocket is the ability of choice. Talked about this already. I already talked about head smash. Heavy slam is a secondary stab move of choice. You can go iron head in this slot, that's for sure. I prefer heavy slam though because it hits the fairies in the uh, the very light fairies in LC harder. But Iron Head does hit fighting types harder, because fighting types are generally heavy. So it's really your choice, I like Heavy Slam better though. Superpower Oko Spawnyard, which is why it is on this set. EQ is an option that misses that Oko and also doesn't hit Pharaoh Seed super effectively. Uh, but in return it does hit Chincha super effectively, which is quite nice. And Rock Polish doubles R on speed, meaning he will outspeed the entire unboosted mana game plus some Scarfers. So, as far as EVs go, I want to be I want to hit as hard as possible, so I'm adamant with max attack. And then I have the speed to outspeed base 14 and 15 Scarfers after a Rock Polish. And the rest is done to 2 HP to give me some extra bulk. Now you may be like, why didn't you get an extra point in the speed by pushing up 255? Going higher with speed doesn't give me an extra point, so this is max speed R1. Unless you go Jolly, at which point? You can go Jolly, because if you do, you outspeed base... 16 and 17 Scarvers, most notably Mianfu, but you are not Okoing Mianfu either way, so it's not that not that big. Ponyard, you, you do outspeed Scarf Ponyard, which can, could be nice, but I don't think it's important enough to um, justify missing the damage from Adamant. So, what does this Aram set aim to do? Aram set aim to do? Aram aims to come in on Fletchling, take its acrobatics, taking only one damage from Fletchling's acrobatics, and then firing off a head smash, if I don't think I can win with R1 yet, if he still has a good switch into me, or I just rock polish up and I win the match if his switchins have been weakened or removed. And that is Aron's goal, either win or wall break, he does both very well in the right situations, but it is quite situational because he does have a quad weakness with fighting, which is really bad in LC, as well as a weakness to uh, Diglett, meaning he might get trapped. So he's quite vulnerable, but he does do he does put in a lot of work. However, of course, this Aron wants to set up. And he can't do that if he isn't at full HP. And if there's any Pokemon in Little Cup that is good at keeping allies at full HP, it's Pritzy. Wish and Protect are incredible tools. Wish allows me to heal up my allies, whereas Protect allows me to take the Wish for myself. Meaning that I can recover some HP as well. And that works great in tandem with Calm Mind. 
which allows me to be a secondary sweeper in the late game. People don't expect Calm Mind Spritzy. If this thing's counters have been weakened, I will win. Instantly, pretty much. Every light is once again the item of choice because it makes me as bulky as possible. Aroma Veil is the ability of choice because I don't, can't get taunted or anything. And I my EVs make me as physically defensive as possible while not wasting any points. So, now, I, this team is quite defensive. And a defensive team in LC cannot function without a regenerator core. So that's where Fungus comes in. Fungus is such an incredible Pokemon because it is so defensive on both sides. With 14, ba 14 defenses on both sides, that may not seem like a lot, but it is a big deal because he takes hits very well. And in combination with Regenerator and pretty high offensive uh, presence for a defensive Pokemon, this thing is a threat. And on top of that, he also gets access to the move Spore, which will put someone to sleep unless you have a Grass type. And what grass type is going to switch into a sludge bomb if it's not named Pharaoh Seed? Right, none of them. I've seen plenty of grass types switching into me, predicting a spore, and then just dying to a sludge bomb. And that is huge. Absolutely huge. Now, Clear Smog is the last move on the set because Funicus is... He, he's not extremely passive, but he can be set up bait. And in that situation, Clear Smog is just incredibly useful. So... No Regenerator Pokemon really works well without a secondary Regenerator Pokemon, and that is Mianfu. A bulky Mianfu this time. I have used an offensive one already, I believe, in one of my teams. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I think I did. Uh, this one is defensive, though. I am still max speed because sitting at 17 base or at 17 speed is just really, really nice. And the rest is go goes to defense and one point into special defense. Uh, my moves, uh, Drain Punch is a stat move that recovers from HP for me. Knockoff has great utility of removing foe's item and hits ghost types and psychic types. And U-turn gives me some momentum. Poison Jab is the last move of choice because it hits fairies that otherwise could easily switch into this Mianfu. Once again, every light is just the best item for defensive Pokemon, and we generate a great ability to heal back up when you after using U-turn or just switching out in general. The final Pokemon with generator on the team is Slowpoke. This thing takes no damage from physical attackers, pretty much. It's so bulky, has reliable recovery and slack off, can cripple physical attackers with either Skull or Thunder Wave, and then has Psychic to deal with fighting types that threaten the rest of my team quite a bit. You may be like, yeah, well, are you spritzy? If there's poison jab, I'm screwed. Fungus doesn't want to lose his item to knock off. Slowpoke is just, in general, quite good. And no, Slowpoke doesn't like knockoff, but he doesn't get too much KO'd by it, and he can T-wave, and then just start playing slack off, and he has a really easy time dealing with him. Scald, of course, burns physical attacks, which is awesome, and Psychic hits those fighting types. This Pokemon is really bulky, does a lot of work, but it's quite passive, so I have to be careful with that. And for the last Pokemon on the team, I needed Rocks, I need Rabbit Spin. There's no Pokemon in LC that does both of those better than Drill Burr. It, it pretty much guarantees the self rocks are set up, thanks to Mold Breaker. It's quite fast, meaning it has an easy time getting off a Rapid Spin. Has X to EQ, which is quite a powerful move, and then Rock Tomb to cripple some, uh, to uh, slow down some attackers. And also, it's the sixth Aphiolite on the team. Because this team is defensive. And Aphiolite is the best defensive item in LC. So, why wouldn't I run it on all six of my months? The EVs make Drillbur as fast as possible while getting one extra point in all of my other stats. Except for Special Attack, of course. So, that's the team. I really think these Pokemon are quite good. But it is kind of an awkward team to use because I really need to get into Aron or Spritzy to win. My other Pokemon are relatively passive because they're very defensive. And one of those two needs to win me the game. Sometimes Mianfu does, but it's rare. And that's, that's going to be it. I am going to go into the match now and I will see you guys there. For the first match today, we're facing Mianfu, Polnyard, Meowth, Carvana, Abra and Fungus. I feel like his team is pretty much just a bunch of top tier LC threats thrown together in one team. And that team became kind of weak to Aron. 
as far as I can tell. His only real switch into Aron's head smash is Fungus. So Fungus needs to be weakened, but that's hard because it's a regenerator. Hmm. How do I want to go about doing this? I think I want to lead Mianfu. Because I can U-turn out on everything. Barring his own Mianfu. Maybe Abra. Yeah, I can, I'd probably just switch out against Abra into Slowpoke. I'm going I'm gonna lead Mianfu. He leads Emily. His Meowth. Okay. Uh, I think I can deal with this thing. It does outspeed me. I'm gonna see how much it does with Fake Out. That's a lot of damage. Huh, interesting. I think I wanna go into Aron. It does carry Brick Break most of the time. I wanna get into Aron here. Oh, it U turns out. That's fine. I was really scared I was gonna predict and go for a Brick Break. It did not, though. He goes into his own Mianfu. I kinda wanna stay in because I'm predicting. Predicting a U-turn. And would be kind of nice to get off a heavy uh, a head smash on anything. But if he fi goes for fighting that move, I am in so much trouble. Okay, fuck it. Ah, oh, damn it. I mispredicted. Oh, crap. That's really bad. I made such a risky play and didn't pay off at all. Okay, so it's almost guaranteed that he's going into Fungus. But I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and Moonblast, I guess. That is bad. I need an hour on this game. Why did I take that risk? I shouldn't have. Damn, that sucks. If it would have worked out though, really, it could have just gone to Ponyard and I would have still had nothing. So that was bad. That was not a good play at all. That does, of course, absolutely nothing. I knew it wasn't going to do anything, but I had to do that. I have to go into my own Fungus now because Spore. HP Fire. Always whenever I see this mirror matchup, they go for HP fire, but Sludge Bomb does more. Or the same in this case. Probably he's probably more specially defensive. I'm gonna keep Sludge Bombing him. As he goes into Pawn Yard, I can live with this. I kinda would just wanted to go for Spore, honestly. Hmm, I wonder. I don't I don't know if Pawn Yard can knock me out, and it's honestly too too much of a risk. I can I don't want to take that risk. I go into Mianfu, it goes for knockoff, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna U-turn. I could knock off. Knocking off something could be nice. I'll go for knockoff. As he goes into his Fungus, which is now no every light, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna U-turn out into my own Fungus, preventing him from getting a Spore off. That does a lot of damage, man. That's really nice. Okay, here you predict that again. That's fine though. I win this 1v1 now. Do I want to predict him going into Pawn Yard? I kind of do. I made a misprediction before and that cost me my R on. Yes, okay. Yes, it's, that's good, that's good, that's good. Nice. I'm gonna Giga Drain now. Do some nice damage to this thing. I know it has a generator, but doing some damage to this thing is always nice. I'm gonna go into uh, my Spritzy now. I can't set up yet. I will fire over Moonblast though. He goes for the U-turn. If he would not have waken up that turn, he would have been dead. He took a huge risk that happened to pay off, but it really didn't have to pay off. This time I'm gonna protect, see what he wants to do. As he immediately pivots back into his Mianfu. Okay, I'm gonna Moonblast again. He's gonna U-turn again. This is... Uh, Negligible damage. That's okay. That's great. That good really didn't matter. I'm gonna protect again. I'm just gonna scout for this. What this fungus wants to do. He's gonna go for a spore. Now I want to say that now that he knows. That, now that he knows that I know that he wants to go for spore. He's gonna predict my fungus coming in again, and that means that I can go into slowpox. No, it's not gonna outspeed this thing, is it? I'm gonna moonblast again. Just weaken this as he goes into his abra. That's fine. That's some nice damage on the Abra. I'm just gonna move blast again. I've been in with the Spritzy for quite a while now. It just goes back into Fungus. This is a really, really weird f battle right now. Ooh, especially that now that's a free, that's a straight up switch into my own Fungus. Because now he cannot definitely not beat me in this 1v1. His Mianfu is no longer asleep. I can spore him. I'm gonna risk his spore because I know I win this 1v1 easy now. He does not switch out, then I'm gonna go for Slide Bomb next. 
Oh, that special attack was really important. As he goes to Abra, is Abra dead? Abra's dead. Okay, that's good. That's a threat gone. It kind of sucks that Aron is dead, though. I shouldn't have taken that risk. He goes to his Mianfu. What does he want to do with this Mianfu, though? I'm not going to go for a Sludge Bomb. As he goes for the knockoff, I can live with that. Poison? Yes! Nice. This Mianfu is now uh, crippled. I'm going to go into Spritzy. See what he wants to do next. He just goes for U-turn. I can live with that. This Funk is... This, his Regenerator core is working quite well for him. Goes to Palm Yard. That's interesting. I'm going to go into my own Mianfu. As he sets up the rocks. I'm going to U-turn out. Potentially, I want, I want to potentially go into Drillbur. I can't go into Drillbur on the, this thing, though. I'm just pivoting back into Fungus. Let's go. This is really the battle of the... Battle of the regen Regenerator course. As I go for the Sludge Bomb, he goes for the HP Fire. He is now in, in knockout range. But so am I. Well, that did more than I thought it would. Let's see. He goes into his uh, Mianfu. Which takes some more poison damage. I know he wants to try to knock me out. I know that he does. I can't go into drill burst. Not, not tanky enough. I don't. Uh, I'll pivot into my Anfu. I see probably his U turns out, but I couldn't risk it. I'm not doing that. I'm not losing a Pokemon to, be, to be, me being stupid again. Oh, there's the Meowth again. I really want to go for. <sighs> My god, that does so much! I have... I, last time I went into... Okay, um, we'll just go into Slowpoke. This thing it should be able to take it on. And I can T-Wave something. He doesn't have a Ground-type. Oh my god, that U-turn does too much damage. He's probably just going into Mianfu. Oh, he goes into Pawn Yard. Yeah, I can't stay in now. I have to go back into Mianfu. <laughs> I feel like I'm being pressured. But I'm also kind of pressuring him. I, oh my god, that does way too much. That did way too much. I do outspeed, guaranteed. He's gonna go for Sucker Punch though. Like, or he's Scarfed, and both, situ both situations are bad for me. So I have to switch out. I'll go into Drill Burr. Let's see, what is he? Is he Scarfed or is he... He's Sucker Punch, okay. That's good to know. I'm gonna Rapid Spin now. Get rid of these rocks at least. What does he do? He goes for Knock Off, okay. I mean, I'm well aware that his sucker, his sucker Punch is going to knock me out, but I just want to get up my own rocks, as his Regenerator will get weakened a lot by that. Okay. He's probably going to ex not expect me to go for another Stealth Rocks. I'm going to... I'm going to EQ. Awesome! Nice! He predicted my switch. So now his Spawn Yard is dead. Oh, that's nice. I figured that was going to happen. Or he was going to predict me to go for another Stealth Rocks. That was good. I don't need Drillbur anymore. I'm just going to stay and let my Drillbur go down. And there's that's 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 cool with me. Uh, wait, oh right, uh, me and Fu lost a part of it, a bunch of HP. Slowpoke should be able to take any hits from this Meowth. I'm gonna T-wave it. I'm gonna cripple something here. It, oh no, unless he goes to me Fu. Oh, this is not bad at all. I will gladly take this thing being paralyzed. I can now go into Fungus. Uh, ooh, this is kind of awkward. Let me see. So I should still be faster, I think. I'm gonna go... Oh, now and now I'm not faster. Am I? Am I faster? <laughs> so this speed is essentially halved, right? I don't know if it's rounded down or up. Let me see. So he does this times two. That's 34. Then a quarter of that. Yeah, that, that, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be faster. And I don't want to risk this thi losing this thing. So yeah, we're just going into Spritzy. I'm just going to set up... A, I could try to set up Call Mines on this thing. I'm going to first go for a Wish. I'm going to see how much damage he does to me. He Destiny Bonds. Ooh. I don't think he can knock me out. So I'm going to set up a Call Mind. There is potential for Pretty to win here. Like, that's, yeah, that, yes, Fungus exists. But at this point, Fungus is weakened. I'm going to calc how many Call Mines I need to knock this thing out. I'll be right back. So, I need a lot of Call Mines to kill this thing. But, at one plus one, he can't do it KO me anymore. Unless he gets the poison, sure. I'm not gonna risk that. I'm gonna set up one more Call Mind. He goes for Spore. 
I am fine with that actually. I just need to wake up soon. I need to start. I need to set up a wish as soon as I can. Oh wait, he is clear. He is clear, Smunk as well. Well, never mind then. Then there is. There's no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna win uh, here. Yet. I'm gonna go into my fun own fungus now. As he goes for another clear smoke. Like this is a problem because I'm gonna pivot between me and Fu and slow and uh, oh my god, everything is so weak on my team. It sucks. U turn. Go back into my fungus. Oh, that's huge. The fact that he went for Giga Drain means that I can now fire off a sludge bomb for free. Or I could Giga Drain. I know I'm gonna sludge bomb. I need to need to hit something hard. That was good. If I sludge bomb again, if I don't die and I sludge bomb again, he dies. I'm gonna do that. He goes for the U-turn. Nothing really wants to take this sludge bomb. He goes to Fungus. I can live with that. As it almost takes him out. I do have to pivot back into Mianfu now though. And then you turn back. Like the regenerator is such an interesting ability. As you can see in this match, both of us really utilize it very well. In that we are constantly pivoting between our two regenerator Pokemon. But the rocks right, that I have up right now are huge. Because they are weakening his regenerator so much. How much was this at? This was at 4. I think Sludge Bomb takes him out. I don't think he can go into Fungus. As he does, that knocks him out. Okay, one of his regenerated Pokemon is finally dead. Now he's just one to deal with. Do I need Fungus? I do need Fungus. I really, really do need Fungus. Slowpoke is my switch in then. He goes for the U-turn. I am... That does a lot of damage. That sucks. He goes to Mianfu. I know exactly that. I know the U-turn is coming. Or is at least very likely. Or the knockoff. I think I can. Oh, he goes for knockoff. Alright, alright. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. As I am now going to go into my own Mianfu and click for click Drain Punch. Does he still have an Evie? He does still have an Evie Light. That doesn't knock him out. That kind of sucks. He has, he has high jump kick. He crits me. I don't know. I think that ma that may have mattered. And that may have uh, fucked me over. Completely. All I know is that I have now lost my Mianfu. It may have just killed me anyways. Oh my god. Mianfu did so, so much damage. It's stupid. Okay. I'm going to once again pivot this Fungus around. So that I can get the Regenerator back. Like his Mianfu is getting very weak. Anything will knock him out at this point. His Carvana also dies to one of Spritzy's Moonblast, which is nice. Plus, it's slow. I think this game is winnable. This is also going to be a long as video, man. Holy crap. If all my games go like this. Uh, I'm going to start a timer. I don't want to wait on him like this. I know it's hard. This battle is very weird. And very interesting, but I need Fungus to be at much more HP. He goes for Faint. Okay. I'm gonna go for a Wish. As he goes, he pivots into his Carvana. Okay. I'm gonna go for a Moonblast then. I hope I wake up. I don't wake up. Alright. I hope I w that I have to wake up now, right, don't I? I do. And his Carvana dies. Nice. Nice and nice. I don't think it's Meowth can kill both my Pokemon. Not that this low HP. I really don't think it can. I'm going to set up a Wish. He forfeits. Thank God. Oh my God. That match took so long. That was such an interesting match to play though. Those rege that Regenerator came through. That was cool. I said a lot. I am sad I lost Aura. Or Aura. Auron that early. But whatever. This was a good match to play. I really had a ton of fun. I'm going to go into the next one now. And I will see you guys there. Alright. For the second match of today. We're facing another Aron. I have never encountered another Aron. This is a completely unique experience for me. And it confuses the hell out of me. What? I'm just going to leave my own Aron because I think he's leaving Apom and I can easily tell. Oh. That's not Apom. 
I, uh, that's that's not even close to a palm. That that no, that's not a palm at all. Why did you go for fake out? I was in with an R on. What, whatever, whatever. Uh, I don't. That means she most likely doesn't have poison jab. Do I want just want a moon blast? I think I just want a moon blast. Pretty is quite important this game to deal with the in K. I'm on a moon blast. He who turns out that was pretty obvious. I think he's just going into ghastly, but breaking that ghastly sub could be important. Ghastly might willow with me, which kind of sucks. Oh, he goes to Aron. Oh, that was pretty obvious as well, to be fair. Alright, what is my switch into an Aron? I have never had to deal with an Aron. I think my switch in is Mianfu. I know I, I know my Aron always gets screwed over by Mianfu, so I assume his Aron is also gonna, screw, gonna get screwed over by Mianfu. And no, that is not just because I lost the last battle to a Mianfu. That's because I, every uh, Aron gets walled by Mianfu because I don't carry I don't carry Iron Head. I am hoping he doesn't either. Gonna start the timer because I don't want to feel like waiting. Ah, oh, there we go. What does he do? He sets up the rock. He's the defensive Aron set. Interesting. I'm gonna knock off. I thought I was expecting him to be off. He goes for protect. That's fine. He can know that I'm going for knockoff. Any nothing on his team wants to lose an item. Nothing in LC ever wants to lose their item. Aron loses the berry juice. And he goes for roar. I get in the drill Thank you. Thank you, Aron. That's nice of you. Now I get the free rapid spin. I could have earthquaked. I sh maybe I should rock to him. Or or I can just set up my own rocks. That's probably the best idea, honestly. Because chances are he's going into ghastly as it's both immune to earthquake and rapid spin, so it's a good answer to both. And getting up my rocks on a ghastly is not a bad thing whatsoever. So let's see what he does. What does he do? He meant he metal burst. Okay, then I rapid spin now. He forfeits. What? I don't know why he metal burst. Like, okay, there are two possible things I could have done there. Earthquake, rapid sp or three possible things. Earthquake, rapid spin, or stealth rock. In the case of Earthquake, he would have died, so metal burst would have been useless. In the case of rapid spin, I would have done one damage, so his metal burst would have done two damage. Didn't matter. And in the case of stealth rocks, metal burst fails. I don't know why he meant from. What? What? Okay, well, after having such a long first battle, I guess we have a really short second battle. Whatever, I'm gonna go into the third one now and I will see you guys there. All right, for the final match of today, we're facing Magby, Cotney, Tertuga, Vallabi, Mienfu, and Kranidos. Speaking of teams weak to Aron, this is one. If that Mienfu dies, Aron wins. That's cool. I think his lead might be Mianfu, so my lead is Fritzy. I was right! Yes! Awesome, I love it when I'm right. I'm gonna protect for the fake out or the U-turn, both of which work in this situation. And he goes for U-turn. That might that suggests he doesn't have Okay, so he doesn't have poison jab and he doesn't have fake out either. The U-turns out, of course, that's just the safest play. I understand that he goes for it again. He might go into Magby. He goes to Tertuga. Let's just take that well. It takes him decently well. Okay, I'm gonna go into Fungus because I don't think Tertuga can knock me out in one. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Smash Tertuga. Shell Smash Tertuga. Why did. What is it? Okay. Okay, so there's absolutely zero. If. Okay, I kinda wanna get Sludge Bomb. Because if tier 2 is gone and he comes in predicting the spore it dies, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch bomb. That is not the Pokemon I expected. To. Oh of course this thing has overcoat. I get a crit poison, which is quite lucky. I'm gonna have to switch out now though. I'm not gonna set up yet. I th oh, that's a knockoff. Huh. Okay. Losing my every line on R1 is not that bad. I'll go for super power head smash. I was just gonna go for head smash. I figured Mianfu was coming in, but I just had to hurt something. And when I need to hurt something, knock off. Is the th uh, head smash is the thing I need to do. Yeah, he goes for U-turn. That is fine. He has no regenerator on any of his other mons, so I don't mind him constantly switching. I just have to go into Spritzy every single time on this Mianfu. 
And somehow, I need to somehow kill this thing. That's the problem. I have a hard time killing a Mianfu. So I I could also para, try to para it with Slowpoke at some point. Here's the Magby. Magby is often Belly Drum. And Magby has Thunder Punch. Meaning that it is kind of a threat. I have to go into Slowpoke now. I don't know if I die. There's the Belly Drum. There is a chance that I die to the Thunder Punch and I just lose. Do I want a T Wave or do I want a Scald? I'm a T Wave. I do die to the Thunder. Oh shit. This just became a problem. I think there's a chance that I straight up lose to this thing. He's gonna have to flare blitz me, which means he takes quite a bit. Oh, he mock punched. <gasps> he mock punched. He didn't kill me. He dies. He's an idiot. He's an idiot, guys. <laughs> He's an idiot, guys. I did kind of need Slowpoke to beat the Mianfu, but whatever. He's an idiot. I'm happy. Like, not. It didn't. Why? What the hell? How are you? How are you, like. Why would you go for a mock punch and not flare blitz? I got rid of my rocks, which the rocks on my side, which is nice. I'm gonna go into Fungus. I'm. Do I just want a Sludge Bomb? I feel like I just want a Sludge Bomb. Because he can't really risk Tortuga coming in here. And everything. Uh, he's not risking kind of those coming in here either. I kind of feel like just getting rid of this card, to be honest. He goes to Volibee. Oh, nice. Volibee's gone. Thank you. Goes to Mianfu. What? What? Does he want to knock me off? Switches, Spritzy is my instant switch into Mianfu. He goes for knockoff. Yes, he did want to knock me off. I'm fine with that. I'm going to set up a wish. Either I take the wish myself or I go into Aron to take the wish. Oh, he thought I was Scarf on the Drill Burr. Now that makes sense. So he thought I was going to be faster, so he mock punched to do some damage, and then I just... Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry. That was funny. I'm going to... This thing might set up a... I'm going to Moonblast. He rock slides. Oh, he knocks me out. Wow! Okay, I didn't expect him to knock me out with that. Okay. Do I want to knock off? I think I want to knock off. Removing something's item would be nice. I, d I may have needed Spritzy this game, admittedly, for that Mianfu. That may be a problem. He goes to Cotney. Which I can... Oh my god, he doesn't know I have Poison Jab. What the hell? Well, now he knows I have Poison Jab. That was really weird. Why did you go back at... That was weird. Okay, he just decided to pivot, I guess. Now we get rid of each other's every light. Now we're gonna drain punch each other. I know that this is a speed die because there's no possible way for me to outspeed him without, no, without an item. He goes for drain punch again. He wins the speed die again. But this is a speed die that matters. And I don't know if I'm gonna risk losing my Mianfu. On the other hand, if I kill his Mianfu, Aron wins. So fuck it. He has one all so far. So let's see if I can win one. Let's go. Come on, Mianfu. God damn it! God damn it! That really, really sucks. Oh my god, that sucks. Why? My god, that's speed. Uh, that's huge. I'm just gonna spore. He lets me spore him. Does he realize that this, this Mianfu is his last opportunity to potentially win this game? Because he just let me spore it. I want a Sludge Bomb. I want to do as much damage to this Mianfu as possible. Goes to Tirtuga. Okay, so he took that risk. I'm gonna kick it right now. Kill the Tuga. He's... He has no more switches to his Fungus. He goes to the Cottony. Does he want to Encore me? He Mementos. And Mianfu is still asleep, right? Does this thing set up? No, this thing kills doesn't even kill Aron. Arr. Heavy slam. Let's see what happens. How long has Mianfu been asleep? 
Mianful hasn't been asleep. I guarantee kill this thing. Like, you, uh, when, when you are asleep, you always sleep for at least one turn. Wait, I can set up a rock polish here. I'm gonna set up a rock polish. Make sure I outspeed the Cranidos and win. This is Aron's time. I don't know why he did this. Why he played it like this. This just won me the game. Okay. I think I have the superpower here, though. Uh, if he, he's not Scarf either, he just loses. Okay, I'll take it. I have Aron got to do something in the final match, which is awesome. So, well, that's it for this video. I really, match one was amazing. Match two was kind of sad that he forfeited pretty much instantly. Match three was fun because Arwen got to do something. It was kind of, he wasn't very good, my opponent. He, though I guess he, I kind of bluffed Trubert Scarf. I mean, kind of? I don't know what to, really don't know. I don't know what he did with his Magby there. Like why he, okay, he, he thought I was Scarf obviously because he did bring it out. But did he not realize that I simply had nothing else? Because that's what that was the case. Like I just didn't have anything else. Oh well. Like shit happens. This was a it was a good I, I had some fun doing these battles. They were they were interesting. We won all three. Though the last one was kinda stupid. But we did win all three. And that was that's fun. That's cool. That might have been the first time on the series that happened. I don't know for sure. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Next time, we're going to OU again. And once again with a Mega, namely Mega Charizard Y. So I think that might be the first time in the series that we're actually going with an absolute top tier Pokemon in its, in its tier. Because Mega Charizard Y is amazing. But that's for you guys to see next time. I'm out. Peace.